Hey everybody, it's Captain Sam McGinley and today we're going to tackle one of the most intimidating jobs in detailing. We get this request all the time, how do I buff my non-skid? So today we're going to tackle that job with a rotary polisher. Let's get started. Sure hold, clean and simple. Now, when you're compounding with a rotary, especially even on non-skid, the rules remain the same, but there's a couple of tips and tricks I'm going to focus on that are going to help you make this job a little bit easier. Now, what is non-skid? Non-skid is simply gel coat, the same thing that's covering the rest of your boat, but just molded into a couple different shapes to create traction. To get started, we're gonna make sure the deck is as clean as it possibly can be. Take the time to remove as much grime and oxidation with a strong cleaner and a stiff deck brush before we get started, so less oxidation, less dead gel coat gets sucked up in the pad. So what's gonna be our biggest concern today is letting materials like our Buff Magic, which is our compound of choice, or whatever compound you're using, soak into the gel coat because it's more porous on non-skid than it typically is on the rest of the gel coat. So because of that, we're gonna work in small areas today, one by ones or two by twos. So to get started, all we have to do is grab our Buff Magic and apply it the same way as we would on a smooth gel coat, using a chip brush. Paint our X pattern, put it in a small surface area, and we're gonna spread it around using our Buff Magic compounding pad, which is the most aggressive pad that we make. You can find that at Sherold.com. Once it's there, we're gonna work at a slower speed. We're gonna rank around 800 to 1100 on our rotary polisher. And we're gonna, instead of working the pad flat, we're gonna work it on its edge. We're gonna use the edge of the pad today, because that's gonna dig into the non-skid a little bit more aggressively and create a deeper, richer shine in those hard to reach areas that typically wouldn't be accessed if the pad was being held flat. As always, we're gonna break down Buff Magic completely. Keep compounding until the pink paste is turned into a very fine residue. You should see very little Buff Magic after you're done with this process and begin to remove that excess material immediately. Do not let Buff Magic dry into the surface. Again, our goal was to remove any excess compound or oils from the surface as soon as possible. Now, in an effort to make this job easier, we're gonna make sure that we're always working in a covered area or at least in shade when it's cool outside, this is going to help the Buff Magic stay working longer. We don't want to let it dry. And if for some reason something does begin to dry and is not removable by just a microfiber towel alone, we can instead use our serious multi-purpose cleaner. If it takes longer than a day to buff all your non-skid, then you're going to make sure to actually wash the areas that you compounded at the end of the day before leaving. Once you're finished compounding the deck, as always, we're going to lay a layer of Pro Polish down over the top of it. And we have a great video on that as well. We'll have a link for you at the end of this tip. And that's it, guys. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to me at Sherold.com. I'm Captain Sam McGinley, and I'm here to help you keep your boat clean and simple. Really? Sam must be messing with me. There we go. Clean and simple.